You guys asked, so here we are. I got 10 new Apple shortcuts that you will find extremely useful to everyday life or just absolutely love because this time, most of these shortcuts are the ones that you guys personally requested, such as a shortcut to mass message anyone in your contacts, a shortcut that acts as a business card, and even a new visual intelligence feature that you can use without even having the new iPhone. All these shortcuts will be linked below in the description so you guys can start using them yourself. And please comment down below for any shortcuts you would like to see in a future video. Let's dive in. First one up is a request to easily share and text someone your calendar availability. The shortcut is a little complex, so I recommend using the shortcut in the description. But the shortcut simply works by first asking you what date you want to get your calendar availability for. And once you choose a date, it pulls all the calendar events you have for that date. Then it will prompt the share action so you could send this via text, email, or maybe a messaging app like Slack. Then there are two different outcomes. Outcome one is that if you do have events for the day, it will set a text up that says I am free on whatever day you choose and fill in the rest of the availability until the end of the date. The second outcome is if you don't have any events that day, it would then say I am free all day on that date. This is a very convenient shortcut that makes sharing your availability with a client or a friend super easy. The next shortcut is all about the seasons. Someone wanted their wallpaper to automatically change every month. So for instance, October will get spooky wallpapers, December, Christmas, and so on. To do this, you will first need to make all the wallpaper sets you want for each month. Then you go to automations and set a time of day automation. You would choose 12 a.m. and repeat monthly starting the first of whatever month is coming up next, then run immediately with no notification. Then you can attach the shortcut I made or build it out like so where it starts with an if statement that looks for the current date. It starts by looking for the month that begins with one and if so, we'll switch to my wallpaper 10, which is the wallpaper set I want for January. Otherwise, it'll move to the next month and so on. So now when the next month comes around, it will automatically switch wallpapers to match the season. Next one is what I call DJ Airplay. This shortcut makes it so you can choose songs or a playlist and automatically plays them across a set of preset Airplay devices. It is a fairly simple shortcut where the first action makes you select the music you want to play. Then the next action are playback destinations. Here I have my home pods I have set up around the house and you can add as many as you want here. Then lastly, it plays the music. This is a great one for parties or just setting the mood without having to manually choose which speakers to play from. Next, somebody wanted the ability to send a mass text to multiple contacts, but separately. There's no way to do this in messages right now, but luckily in shortcuts, there is. In this shortcut, the first action will ask you to type in the message you would like to say. Then it will set it as a variable. Then it will ask you to select the contacts you would like to send the message to. Then it will set each contact as a person variable. Then lastly, it will send the message to each person. So in action, it looks something like this. It will ask for the message. So let's type something out like the classic 2 a.m. you up text. Think smarter and not harder, fellas. This is great if you want to message a bunch of clients or want to send out individual invites to friends so it feels more personal. And speaking of personal, if you guys are liking these types of videos, then I personally would appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. And again, comment on what shortcuts you would like to see in the next shortcuts video. You guys have some really great ideas, just like this next one, which is actually my favorite of the bunch because it came in clutch at my last business event I attended. This is called the business card shortcut. The shortcut starts by creating a V card. A V card is a virtual contact file that is formatted to transfer contacts between phones. And then all you simply do is fill in the info with the information you would want to show in your contact. Then you generate a QR code from the text above and then show the QR code in Quick Look. This is nice because I can separate my personal info from my business info and share only what I want. And to make this even better, if you download the free app Pass to You Wallet, you can upload the QR code into an actual Apple Wallet card. You can then customize the colors and even add in a logo and photo. Then you can add it to your wallet so you can present your QR code in a much more professional format. Now, remember those big old grandfather clocks that chimes every hour? Well, one of you guys wanting to mimic that on your iPhone. There's actually two ways of doing this, but the way I chose is better for the fact that you may wake up at different times throughout the week or on the weekend. So you probably don't want these things going off during your sleep. So I did this by creating two shortcuts. The first one needs to be done only once. 
and it's just to set the hourly alarms. As you can see, it will create an alarm called time for every hour of the day. So when you run it, it will create all the alarms for you. Then the only manual thing you would have to do, and this is only one time, is set the alarm sound to chime or whatever sound of your choice. Now for the second and main shortcut, you'll want to set an automation. You would choose the alarm automation and choose is stopped. You hit the wake up alarm and then run immediately with no notification. Then for a shortcut, you could plug in the one I created or make it yourself. It works by first finding the current date, formats it to the time, then it will find all alarms that are labeled chime and the hours that are greater than the formatted time, which is the time my wake up alarm is stopped, then turn on each alarm. When the shortcut is ran, you can see that the hours after the current time are the only ones that get turned on. The other way to do this is to set an automation for time of day to go off at the hours you want a sound to go off on. But then you will have to create multiple automations for each hour and then it wouldn't change if you wake up at a different time. Then you will choose play sound as an action and upload a sound of your choice. Both options work, but in my opinion, the first way is better. Now in iOS 18, we got the revamp control center. Now I don't know about you guys, but for me, sometimes swiping from the top right down to see the control center can be tough, especially for someone with small hands on a big phone. But there's an easier way to do this. In shortcuts, you could toggle the control center open and close. Then once creating, you could go to settings, then accessibility, then touch and scroll all the way down to back tap. Then here you can set an action for double or triple tap. When you click in, you can choose from many options here, but towards the bottom, you can actually attach a shortcut on your choice. So hit the shortcut named for the control center toggle and that's it. So now whenever you double back tap your iPhone, you will get the control center pop up and another back tap again will exit out. This next one is really useful and is for people who don't have the latest iPhone, but still want a visual intelligence feature with their current phone. On the new iPhones, you can hold down the new camera control button and activate visual intelligence. From here, you can use ChatGPT or use Google to take a photo and find more information on it. The Google search feature is simply using Google Lens to do this. So if you download the Google app and go to shortcuts, you can add the action to activate Google Lens. Then you can attach this to the control center or add it to the action button to work very similar to the camera control button. When activated, Google Lens will appear and you can take a photo of that item and Google will do the rest. This is great if you see something cool and simply want to know where to buy it. For this next shortcut, somebody requested that when they open an app, the do not disturb focus mode will turn on and block all notifications. And then when they exit the app, it will turn off the do not disturb mode. They specifically wanted for the Audible app so they are not distracted when listening to a book. To do this, it will require two shortcut automations. First, you will go to automations, then choose the app automation, then choose the app of choice. Here, we're just gonna choose Audible. Then check mark is open and run immediately. Then the action is set focus to turn on do not disturb until turned off. Then you will go back and set a second automation. You're gonna do the same app automation, choose the same app audible, but then this time check mark is closed and then run immediately. Then for the action, you will choose set focus and turn off the do not disturb. So now when you open the app, it will change the focus mode and when exited, it will turn it off. You could do this with almost any app. Now in my first shortcut video, you guys really liked my morning summary shortcut, but you guys had some ideas on how to improve it. So I heard those requests and created a second version of it, but also a third version. So you guys can choose the version you prefer. For anyone who didn't see that first video, the version one of this shortcut will send you a message in the morning as soon as your wake up alarm is stopped. In that message, you will see the weather and your calendar events for the day. I'll have that video displayed at the end of this video so you guys can check it out, but you guys wanted to improve this by also adding in reminders. So within that same shortcut, I added in a few new steps. I added find all reminders that are due for today, then added them to the text and that's it. So now the morning message will also tell you what reminders are due. Super simple, but you guys wanted to improve it even more. You guys wanted to add in the time it takes to get to work and add in two alarms that tell you when to leave for work and when you have five minutes to leave for work. So in version three, I added these steps. I added the find all counter events that are titled work, 
meaning that you'll have to first create a calendar event every day you have work. Then it will take the driving time from your location to your work. Then it will subtract the travel time in seconds from the start date of work. Then add in that time to the summary message. Then scrolling down, I have it find all alarms where the label is leave for work and five minutes leave, then it deletes them all. Then it will create an alarm called leave for work and then subtract five minutes from the adjusted date which is the time we have to leave and create another alarm called five minutes to leave. So when this is ran, you'll get an SMS message to yourself that contains all the info you need for the day, including travel time. Then under alarms, you'll see two alarms called leave for work and five minutes to work turned on. Now the delete alarms action is so that you don't get a long list of alarms by creating new ones every day. And you guys will wanna run this action once first so you can tell the shortcut to always delete the alarms because the first time it will ask you to approve. And there you go, you now have the ultimate warning assistant. I wanna thank you guys again for sending your requests. I had a lot of fun creating these shortcuts. And if you guys want any of these shortcuts I discussed in the video, I'll have them all linked below in the description. You guys can also see my other shortcut videos probably somewhere on this screen. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, then please hit the subscribe button and comment what shortcuts you would like to see in a future video. See y'all in the next one, peace.